Scoot, scoot, scoot. All right, one, two. A <laughs> new no. One, two, three. Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey everybody, it's David. Happy New Year's. And today is my third YouTube anniversary. So I wanted to do something special for y'all today and finally fulfill a request that I've been getting for years, which is to show you my entire Ocarina collection. The only problem is that we're in the middle of getting ready for a New Year's Eve party tonight, so this video is going to be a little bit rushed. And after we walk through my collection, I have a few surprise updates at the end of this video, so be sure to stick with me till the end. So let's recap a little bit on how this collection got started to begin with. When I was growing up, I was a huge fan of video games, but specifically Nintendo. I collected the video games, I had the toys, I had the Pokemon cards, I was a subscriber to Nintendo Power for several years, and I even had posters all over my wall. But around the age of 16, I kind of just grew out of all that stuff and put it all the way. My video games, the toys, the cards, the magazines, everything. But it was during that huge Nintendo phase that I bought my very first Ocarina out of a Nintendo Power magazine, the Songbird Ocarina Five Holes Zelda Replica. Unfortunately, pretty soon after I got it, I dropped it and it broke. So I had to try to rep repair it with this clay here, which it actually still plays. Not as good as it was when I first got it, but there it is. After that, I had to try to stop crying for a little bit and saved up some money to replace it. And instead of getting the new Zero Zelda replica, I bought these two pendants. Excuse me. These two pendants uh, were my second and third Ocarina, and I do not regret getting these one bit because it showed me that the Ocarina was more than just a um, toy from a video game that, you know, it was a very, very cool instrument to appreciate, and this is still one of my favorite ocarinas out of my entire collection. A couple years later, even though I wasn't a fanatic about Zelda anymore, I saw my very first 12-hole ocarina on eBay, which was the Spencer Register's 12-hole Zelda replica. This is what I posted in my first video, or what I used to post my first video, and what many of you have seen over the course of the years. It's still one of my favorite ocarinas. I absolutely love the tone and it really opened up my world about the instrument. Since then my collection's kind of exploded, so I'm just going to walk you through by maker in within the region. So, let me just take you look here. First off, we have Songbird Ocarinas. I already showed you the Zelda replica, and we have the pendants. Now these, here we have the tenor, alto, and soprano. These two are actually prototypes. Um, it's a golden pendant. Very pretty. Sometimes he'll still sell them on eBay, but I don't believe Darren Somber sells them on the website. The Muse. Um, this was a early prototype for the uh, Song of Time. You can see the uh, band here, and this was the uh, the Zelda replica that you have today on Songbird site from Claziness Whistleworks. I can't really see what I'm showing here because I'm using my Mac. Anyway, so this was the first one that I bought from them. Uh, it's a Triforce pendant. And they were kind enough to send me a few other ones. Um, this one's really cool. And this is a very interesting piece. This is called the Sweetheart Ocarina. And what you do is, one person plays this in, and the their mate plays the other end and you play it together as you stare into each other's eyes very romantic these are the mini Zelda replicas which I love this one's a little bit smaller and I wear this one out a lot this one's by John Barry or Whistleworks that's a cute little eagle he has many animals on his website these are also sold from off the clay's website uh, they're plastic Four holes, great for kids. And this one was actually bought in Seattle um, 
by a maker named Tom. I always forget his last name. But this one's really cool. I wear this one out a lot too. But uh, he's in the Pike Place market if you ever want to see what he has to offer. The very cool little pendants. From Mountain Ocarinas. The Polycarbonate in C. The uh, Bronze or Gold in G. The Diamond Hardback in G. These are three warm stones. And this is actually a prototype for something that Carl was working on called the Ock Box. By Charlie Hind. His uh, Tenor F Walnut Ocarina. This is uh, Alto C. I think it's Coca Bolo um, Blood. I forgot what it's called already. <laughs> I'll find out for sure. And this is a Cynthia Smith. North Country Workshop Double Harmony. It's not technically mine, she's letting me use it. We're moving on to the sweet potatoes now. This is, of course, the Spencer's Older Replica. This is a Spencer Concert Series Alto C. All these are from the United States. This one's actually from Italy. This is by the maker Fabio Menaglio um, from Bodrio, part of the lo a long line of Bodrio Ocarina makers. Very beautiful piece. These are all from, moving on to the east, Taiwan. Uh, these are WPN or TNG ocarinas. Um, I got them through STL. You've probably seen these in many of my earlier videos. These are my some of my first 12 hole ocarinas. Um, standard WPNs, this is the Enigma the WPN Double, W or the TNG. I think it's a WPN. It says TNG, but it's a WPN triple. And, uh, see, these are the purple clay models over here. I used to have the purple clay Soprano, but, uh, I broke it, dropped it, and I was taking the picture. Um, it's purple clay mini. Alt C, Soprano C. Um, Alto C in the quadruple, which is actually a, a gift from, uh, Dennis Ye. STL Ocarina. And here we have three Ocarinas that were specifically made for STL Ocarina from WPN or TNG. Um, as you can see, it has the STL mark on the sides here. Is this is a Mini Soprano C, Alto C Zelda replica, and the uh, horn. These are also got through STL, but they're not TNG or WPN. I'm not really sure about the maker, but these are some of the most weirdest and difficult to play ocarinas that I own especially these over here these are just weird but if anybody can read that and let me know who the maker is leave a comment below or send me a PM please on to my some of my favorite ocarinas these are from Japan this is my Ogawa 12 hole Alto C and my Akita Soprano C or um, I believe it's a RT1C beautiful sounding. These two are from Korea. This is my Maparam Alto C, which is a very good tone uh, for playing in live performances. Very loud though. And this is my Noble Bass C, which is very cool. And finally, these are just a few of my odds and ends ocarina. Um, obviously these three approving ocarinas, these two, this was the ocarina my, my mom and dad got me after I broke my um my very first one it felt kinda bad ironically I broke this one a couple months ago but uh, a friend of mine replaced it just over this last Christmas he got me this one and uh... this one too I call it the Simpsons turtle I'll have to show you why in another video this is a plastic ocarina I not I don't think it's first note but it's actually pretty good it's tuned very well um, you have to blow very soft on the lowest notes and pretty strongly on the highest. But it's a, if you have this ocarina, it's not as bad as you think. Um, this is from my friend Chris at uh, Sixth Street Pottery. And this was a prototype for his new Zelda replica coming out. I'm not sure if he wants me showing this off or not, but uh, this is, has to be the most awesome Triforce I've seen on a Zelda replica. And it sounds pretty good, too. This is the Oscar Mayer Wiener Whistle. Most people don't know it's actually an ocarina. It has two holes. This one, and then this one. 
and you blow it like a whistle, but whistles don't have... An ocarina is actually a whistle. A type of whistle. Anyway, just take my word for it. It's an ocarina. This was by a maker here in the United States. I forget his name, but I'll post it in the description. And this was an ocarina made by yours truly up in Seattle during Ocarina Slam. As you can see right there. So that's most of my collection. I've broken a few ocarinas, um, I've lent a few out to people, I've gave one away, but right now I believe it stands at about 62 or 63. Um, not including the ones, the few that I've made, if you can call those ocarinas. So like I said, I have a few very cool announcements. Um, one is that, I know I've said it before, but I am working on Octoc episodes. Um, I'm trying to find people who can help me with the, um, the graphics for the intro and the outro. Um, if you work with CGI in any way and would like to offer maybe an hour or two of help to try to help me figure out how to do this. What, I, what I'm envisioning, uh, send me a, an email, doctors at hotmail.com or a private message. Um, and I'm also looking for writers and just people to help with the show in general. So um, you can volunteer to help me with that on the new Octalk forums, which should be up in a few days. Um, I'm just getting everything organized, talking to a few people about moderating the thing. Um, but people have been asking me for a place that they can discuss um, the show and um, just Ocarinas in general. And there are a, few, are a few forums out there right now, like the Ocarina Network, and Mount, the Mountain Ocarina Forum, OcarinaBoard.com, and um, the uh, the one for makers on Yahoo that a lot of people don't know about. Um, but this one's going to be specifically to talk about um, reviews, Ocarinas we talk about on the show, and techniques and stuff like that. So there'll be a link to the forums in the description. Um, if not tomorrow, then the day after that. So sometime this weekend, hopefully. And um, finally, I am trying to organize Ocarina gatherings in my hometown of San Antonio, Texas, um, which we'll also discuss on the Octalk forums pretty soon. So if you live somewhere around San Antonio, Austin, or um, just places nearby, um, you can learn more about those gatherings on the Octalk forums over the weekend. So um, hope to see you there at some point, and then. I think we're having an ocarina gathering some somewhere central in for the U.S. this year for 2010. The ocarina slam did really good last year. Um, I haven't been on top of it this year, so we're going to try to pull something together, if not some sort of small informal gathering like last year. So, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed going through my collection. Um, we'll see what this year brings. The last three years have been amazing, and um, I'm so glad for all the subscribers. I'm almost at 40,000. And um, all the comments and the messages and emails, I really appreciate y'all. Uh, thank you so much, and I uh, hope you enjoy what else I have in store for y'all this year. Happy New Year's. Whoa, that was uh, weird. You know what? I messed up. I was thinking, da, 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 da. All right, last time. <laughs> I was actually doing it. <laughs> I know. Okay, I'm sorry. You're oh going to go to the next Okay, here we go.